everybody guess what time it is it's making stuff with miss Aaliyah. yay so for this making stuff project i'm excited to get our hands dirty and creating artwork for our space not only that but I even have some special guests that want to talk to you about how they feel their space. Now, I said it two times, and I don't know if you caught it, but the theme for this Making Stuff video is space! Wait, not, not the space with the astronauts and the stars and the planet. It can get kind of confusing. The space! You get it? Take a moment. Get up from where you are and look around your space. That means you have to stand up, turn around, and that's your space. And today we're gonna to talk about how to fill your space up. First, I wanna give you an idea of what I'm talking about, about filling up your space. In our great city of Birmingham and even our great city of Homewood, art is everywhere. If you were to drive, well, not you, I hope you're not driving. Anyway, <laughs> when you're riding with your parents or with your guardians or with your friends, have you ever paid attention to the art that's on walls and buildings? One of my favorite spaces is the art wall on Morris Avenue. It is a huge rainbow. It is a wall filled with so many colors that blend in together. And it's one of my favorite spots to take photographs. Also, if you ever heard of the McLean Center, if your parents were to go down there now with you, you would see beautiful murals and artwork that show the emotions and hearts of every artist that tag team together. Art is a way to bring a community together. Make something that probably was blank and didn't have any character beautiful. Now, some people tend to fill their spaces up with plants. Some people tend to fill their spaces up with their favorite cars, toys, and with their favorite action figures. Some people even fill their spaces up with every single favorite thing that they love. I tend to like to fill my space up with color as you can see behind me. But sometimes I feel like there needs to be more. So, in this video, I first and foremost want you to take a deep breath and let it all out. And as we get ready to get started with making stuff, I first want you to meet my friends. My friend Megan here is an amazing artist, a social entrepreneur, but most importantly, she is a fan of filling up spaces. And I'm gonna go ahead and let her come in and tell you all about what she does. Hi everyone, my name is Megan McCollum and I'm a local artist, social entrepreneur, and the founder and owner of Blank Space Birmingham. And y'all, I am so excited that Miss Aaliyah has asked me here to say hello to you today, tell you a little bit more about why I decided to become a muralist and why I started Blank Space Birmingham, my company. That's a really long story, so I'm going to try to keep it super short for you, but it basically comes down to this. I was living in London, England, where I got to study for my master's degree in cities and cultures. And while I was studying in this really cool place, I saw art everywhere. I saw it in museums, I saw it in galleries, I saw it on the street. Not only just on the walls in the street, but actually the ground. And I thought this was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Now while I was working there and studying, I started to see ways that artists were using art to make a change in their neighborhood. So it wasn't just artists painting pretty pictures on walls. I was seeing artists work with community activists and leaders in their communities to enact real social change. And that was inspiring to me to see that art couldn't and wasn't just something that lives inside of a museum or a gallery, but it was a tool that was utilized to bring people together, to get work done, to change the face of their neighborhood. I thought that was amazing. So when I finished my degree and I came back to Birmingham, 
I had the opportunity to start something really cool with a group of friends where we wanted to accomplish a project to put a massive mural up on a wall downtown. Now as time went on and we saw success through that project, I knew that that dream could be something more. Now there's lots of ins and outs of how Blank Space changed and grew and went through challenges and hard times over the next six years. But I'm here today to tell you that it is worth every single, every single challenge to fight for your community if you are passionate about something. I'm passionate about Birmingham, I'm passionate about art, and that's what's inspired me to use murals to connect people. I know that if we take time to be very intentional, to do things on purpose, with our neighbors, to ask them about what's important to them, to ask them about what they want to see in their neighborhood, and we listen to those things, we can change so much. And I know that we can do that through art. And that's why I love being a muralist, because I know that we can change things if we work together. And that's why I love being a muralist. I have an opportunity every day to meet people from across our city that has the same sort of dream that I do. To see their place be bright and pretty, but more than that, to be something that's bigger than what it already is. And it's really cool to see people get excited about what could be on their walls. And when we talk about those things with each other, and we have those conversations with one another, we're growing and we're bonding as, as a community of people. And beyond the art, beyond the work that happens to get it done, those relationships that formed to create those projects will last. And that's what's going to make the change. Beyond a beautiful picture on a wall, at the end of the day, I'm a muralist because I love community. I'm a muralist because I love Birmingham. Something that I always love to say, my friends and the other artists that I work with and people on social media probably hear all the time, but I genuinely believe this, that we as people that live in Birmingham, this magic city, we don't have to just live in the magic of our city. We can be the magic. Thanks, guys. I hope you all enjoy this book. It is my favorite book. I know you're going to love it. Bye. Oh my goodness. How awesome is it to learn more about Megan? Megan is not only just this amazing artist, but she's an amazing person as well. To take her love for art and creativity and to share it with us where we can just go downtown and go to these different spaces and see where her and her friends teamed up to create beautiful artwork. And the book that she showed too is connected to our segment today. Now, after Miss Megan, we have another friend of Miss Megan. Her name is Becky Marie. And her artwork is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just love her artwork. Miss Becky has done me a huge favor of not only telling her story, how she came to become an artist, but she's going to let us in. She's going to show us her studio. <laughs> Here we go. Miss Becky Marie. Hey, Becky Marie. I'm a local artist in Birmingham, Alabama. I became an artist to deal with my emotions when I was younger and help me go through or cope with my own emotions. I became a muralist because it really inspired me how art can light up the whole section of the city and you know people can come and enjoy it all from all different walks of life. My studio space the walls I have lots of color since that usually brightens my spirits go and have a table to do some work and 
And here's where the magic happens, the easel. I have some quotes on there to keep me going through it. That's my space. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, how cool is my special guest? Yes. I say goodbye to them. Well, not goodbye, that's a bit permanent. But say see you later, cause you never know, you may come across them. Now we've gotten to the part that we've all been waiting for. Make stuff with Miss Aaliyah. Now today's project is simple. We are getting connected with our emotions or we kind of allow them to be unleashed and let them do what they want to do within boundaries. What we're getting ready to do, we're just going to create simple frame painting. So, before we can get started, I seem to not have any materials. Do you want to go shopping with me really quick? We're getting ready to go shopping with Miss Aaliyah. Cause we got some stuff we need to get. See you back here, okay? chose to do my frame painting but the choice is up to you the main thing that I would like for you to use if it's okay with your parents and you have permission is some type of paint Oh,
my result. Remember the tape that we put um, around the edges on the table? That tape wasn't just to keep your paper on the table, but it also gives you a frame. So when you pull that tape off, it gives you this clean line around and you able to create your own piece of artwork but yeah these are our frame paintings which i'm super super i really like how it turned out i, I really do i really like it i want to introduce you to two books that inspire our making stuff project today the first one is called maybe something beautiful it is a story about a little girl who loves creating beautiful artwork. Not only that, but she takes her artwork and she shares it to all of her friends and neighbors in her neighborhood. The next book is called Hey Wall. <laughs> hey Wall is a really good story also about art and community. I had so much fun creating and making stuff with you and even creating some artwork to fill up my space and like I said I think I'm taking my artwork to work and I'm gonna just put it right next to my desk so when I look up and see it it can brighten up my day now the next making stuff video we're gonna do it in a whole new setting and I can't wait to show you what other stuff we're going to create. Thank you for tuning in. Have an awesomely awesome day. Bye.